I'm Cynthia Mulligan at City Hall. Well, council is back in session after the summer break. They're still at it right now. They're just behind closed doors for an in-camera session discussing sensitive legal materials. But the first item on the agenda today was the proposed rail deck park. And early on in the debate, you can see where the battle lines are going to be drawn. Once again, suburbs versus the downtown core. It is a disaster in some parts of this city, but yet we can try to find 1.5 to 2 billion or even 3 billion dollars to build a brand new park for a lot of dogs that belong to the rich. We saw it during the endless debates over the Gardner Expressway and the battle over the Scarborough subway extension. It was even crystal clear during the last election. The battle lines that are often drawn between the suburbs and the downtown core. Residential and non-residential development. And it's now happening again with the debate over the rail deck park. So you're turning it into a downtown versus suburban issue. It's always been downtown versus suburban. Would you bleed the suburbs in order to build downtown? Council held its first debate over the rail deck park today, dubbed Toronto's Central Park. It would be eight and a half hectares or 21 acres built over the rail lines from Bathurst to Blue Jays Way. The mayor is throwing his support behind the ambitious project. You can have the last remaining opportunity to create a great open public space in the downtown or you could just fill it up with more of the same and have more condos and more office towers and so forth. The cost is estimated to be somewhere in the billion dollar range. How to pay for it though is a crucial question, especially considering Toronto already has $29 billion of unfunded projects that have been approved. We have a booming downtown with more high rises under construction than any other city in all of North America. And from those developments come resources to pay for parkland. It's time we spent it. Now, after all that back and forth that went on for a few hours, council voted unanimously, unanimously to spend $2.4 million to study Rail Depth Park. They'll be looking at zoning, air rights, and design, and then they'll be able to get a better sense of exactly how much it will cost.